In this video, I will show you how to download image dataset in TensorFlow. We will use high-level Keras utilities and layers to read a directory of images on our disk. We will download the flowers dataset. This tutorial uses a dataset of several thousands of flowers. The flower dataset contains five subdirectories, one per class of flowers. The flowers are daisy, dandelion, roses, sunflowers, and tulips. Let's import all the important libraries. Let's import TensorFlow as TF. Import Pathlib. Pathlib offers a set of classes to handle file system paths. Import PIL dot image we will use this module to open image of flowers i'm going to make one variable dataset underscore url and in that i will store the url of the flowers dataset i have copied the url on my text file this is the url I will also put the link in the description below so you can also download from this URL. Now I have to either use single quotes or double quotes. Now I'm going to run this line. The next step is to create a directory and store in a variable. I will make one variable data underscore dir. From TensorFlow, I will call the modules Keras and from Kera, I will call the function utils and from utils, I will call the method get underscore file and in this, the first parameter is origin and in origin, we have to pass our URL and we have saved the URL in the variable dataset underscore URL. We will put the name here dataset underscore URL. The next parameter is file name, which stands for F name. And we want to save our file as flower underscore photos. You can give any name here to your file. I am giving flower underscore photos to my directory name. And the next uh, parameter is untar. And we have to set it as true because this will download the directory as a zip file and we need to extract that. Now I'm going to run this line. Now to check where our flowers photos have been saved on our computer, we will print our variable data underscore dir. In the output, you can see the path. On this path, see user Amir Keras dataset flower underscore photos. The flower underscore photos directory have been saved. And from this directory, we are going to fetch one by one each flower. We will read our flowers data from this path data underscore dir. We will say data underscore dir. And we will use the function pathlib dot path. And we will pass our variable name data underscore dir. And if I print this data underscore dir, I got the location of my photo where the file have been saved here. Now I can check how many files are saved in this variable data underscore dir. I'll make one variable image underscore count. And in this, I will store the length of the data set. That is total number of samples which are present in our data set. For that, I will use the method length. And then I will convert that into list. And I will pass my variable data underscore dir dot. Then we will use the method glob. And in single quotes or double quotes, we will type 
star slash star dot jpg because the file are stored in the format jpg now let's print our variable image underscore count to get the count of our data set in total there are 3670 flowers photo and we are going to look at those flowers one by one first we will look at the rose image i'll make one variable roses I will use the function list then I will pass the variable data underscore dir that is this path of our flowers photos data set then I will use the method glob glob and then I have to type here flower name uh, that is roses here because we are going to see roses image slash star And to load the image, we have to use the module PIL from PIL dot open. And we will convert this into a string roses. Let's look at the rose flower, which is present at the index number zero. This is our first flower. This is a white rose flower which is present at the index number zero here and to check one more flower or to check more flower of rows we can change the index number here let's say i will type here one and this is the second image of rose flower let's say i type it two the next flower which we are going to load now is sunflowers I'll make one variable sunflowers. I will use the method list. I'll pass data underscore dir and then I will use the method glob. And here I have to pass flower name sunflowers oblique star. Then we will use the method PIL dot image dot open and we will convert it into string then sunflowers we are going to load the sunflower at the index number zero here let's change the index number to one and this is the next photo of sunflower let's check some more flowers of so these are new sunflowers we can see that there are many pictures of sunflowers here now we are going to load the images of dandelion i'll make one variable d and dandelion I will use the method list then data underscore dir dot glob then i have to pass here flower name d a n d -E l i o n dandelion star then i will use pil dot image dot open then i will convert this into a string We will look at the flower present at the index number zero. So this is the flower which is present at the index number zero here. Let's check some more flowers at one. Okay, this is a new flower. At index number two, this is one more flower. We can see there are many flowers of dandelion. Let's check tulips flower now. I'll make one variable tulips. I'll call the method list data underscore dir dot glob. Then I have to pass here flower name t u l i p s tulips. 
star pil dot image dot open tulips at index number zero so at index number zero we have this flower of tulip let's check the flower at index number one so at index number one we have so many flowers and let's check at index number two now the next flower which we are going to look is daisy i'll make one variable daisy then i will call list then i have to pass the path here data dot dir dot glob and here i have to type the flower name daisy now we are going to open our flower daisy and we will see what flowers present at the index number zero here so this is a flower which is present at the index number zero we can also check at index number one now we can see different flowers are coming let's check also at index number two this is how we can download flowers data set in tensorflow and these are the flowers which are present in the flowers data set you can also download it on your machine i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching